Okay, so let's continue our discussion about hypothesis testing with ANOVA, um, but specifically we're going to talk about our conclusions. Okay, so our original conclusion, remember, we'll say that null hypothesis is that all means equal, alternative, at least one different. Okay, so for this, remember we still have to get our p value. I'm going to write, let's write this how we normally write it that our p value um, is going to be less than our alpha value. All right, so let's suppose that we get that. We run our ANOVA test, we get a p value less than alpha. So let's write up what our, um, our conclusion would be. It would simply be something like we collected sufficient evidence at alpha level uh, and this would be whatever your alpha level is. I'm just going to put in like whatever your alpha is. So if it's 0.05, you put 0.05 there. If it was 0.01, same thing. Okay, at your alpha level, to reject the claim, that the true means of the groups are the same and instead conclude oops that at least one is different Okay, so the format of this is still the same. We still say that did we collect sufficient or insufficient data. If we collected sufficient data, we need to say that we rejected the null hypothesis. Uh, if we collected insufficient evidence, you know, where the p-value is greater than alpha, we say that we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. Uh, so the null hypothesis, remember, is the claim that the true means now we'd have to say like the true mean weight, the true mean time, whatever we're measuring, whatever parameter that we're interested in, the true mean time of, now make sure that we get the populations in here. We've got multiple now, we're comparing these populations to one another. That the groups, be sure you state your groups, whatever they are, uh, are the same and instead conclude that at least one is different. That's all that the, that the ANOVA can do is say that is at least one different. So here, we were able to conclude that at least one was different. That's just for the conclusion. If we want to then answer the question over here about which ones is the biggest, which one's the smallest, which ones were different, which ones weren't different, we've got to go to the post hoc test. We've got to go look at the confidence intervals. And we'll take care of that in our next video.